Alright guys, um, this is Aaron here from Cut of Action 14, 16, 18 and today I have with me the Traxxas Slash Low Center Gravity 4x4 um, We're just going to pretty much go over um, some of the things that I've done to the car some of the things I think can be improved by Traxxas some of the things I think they should keep um, and some of the things I've had to do to the car already and then we'll talk price wise and how much I paid for this car and how much I think you can save on buying this car so um, let's get right into it um, this is obviously pretty much all stock um, except for the tires and except for the uh, fan on the ESC I I thought of when I made this car that uh, I should just go all out um, new shocks new a arms new bumpers new um, complete new system and drive shafts and even a different radio and I just got the car and I just thought man everything on here is brand new I mean they even have a, just the newer radio system, and the radio even has the TQI Bluetooth, um, what is it called, the Bluetooth docking thing, or whatever. You don't even have to plug your phone to you hook it up Bluetooth, they can tell you all the telemetry sensors if you, if you purchase them, which I haven't. But I just thought, man, I mean, this thing's loaded. It's a brand new Slash. I mean, I pretty much got this car for $192. I won the bid on it. It was high center gravity, and then I bought the, um low center gravity uh, conversion for it and then these tires and then a, a new pro line body which I'll show you guys when I'm done um, so yeah the, um, one thing that I do think Traxxas could do a little bit better maybe is uh, maybe a battery expansion kit to come with the car um, I know that they don't sell this I know I did get this on eBay but I do know for a fact Traxxas does not even offer that but I think that they should because some of these 3S batteries or definitely um, can be a little bit bigger than your just a regular um, battery um, you know battery holder can actually hold and if you're running 3s you definitely want something that can hold your 3s battery so that's just one of many things I think Traxxas could do a little bit better um, one thing that I do think Traxxas did definitely improve on is the nerf bars these nerf bars are I mean I've had this car before and nerf bars like this I just haven't ever worked on me I've heard horror stories about people who with 4x4 um, short courses and TLR cars um, that you just pick them up, you know, after a race and just, they just break right off. So I definitely think this does determine um, the look of a car and does uh, definitely help you when you flip your car and want to flip it over. Um, it's definitely just something that's not necessarily an accessible thing that you need in a car, but definitely for looks and just for convenience-wise, definitely a good thing and I just appreciate um, one other thing that I think is um, pretty much um, just awesome that to me just looks wise is the open center drive shaft I just I've always loved that the blue drive shaft in the center of the car is beautiful I love it um, like that um, that's just amazing to me um, pretty much like I said everything on this car is completely stock I haven't even played with the springs the preload or anything I haven't it's pretty damp in the back, but but really I've just been playing with it uh, just to get a feel for these cars again um, in the back. Um, some of the um, parts that I've had to replace on this car already is a stub axle. I broke two of them, um, but it um, and I just replaced um, a new, another one. So this is my third one. I'm hoping that I fixed the issue because I uh, I installed wrong stub axles and, and didn't necessarily um, understand that they weaken the part you just installed which was wrong and in essence that's why they broke so I have the right part now <laughs> so it should be good to go um, but yeah I, um, since um, last RC run that I had with these cars I ran um, Turnigy connectors or banana connectors and I also even had run at a time Traxxas connectors but now I've officially switched to Dean's connectors and I have um, pretty much mastered soldering so <laughs> Uh, that's what I'm running now there. Um, like I said, everything on here is pretty much stock, except for the body mount on the front. That's RPM. So you never know. You order stuff on eBay or win a bid or somebody who's had a car and they've done things that you don't know about until you just look at them and that's his RPM right there. And So that's good. That's something I, I definitely thought was nice and was definitely appreciated. Um, the bumper here, that's stock. Um, um, let's see, the arms in the front are stock. The camber... Ca um, camber links are stock, um, steering links are stock, everything in, you know, the steering blocks, the caster, the hub carriers, everything is stock. Um, but yeah, pretty damp though, um, I'll have to work on that. Um, but yeah, um, 
but you can tell this is definitely the newer um, ESCs that they do now sell because it has the three capacitors in the rear and the um, the uh, connectors or the cords for the uh, motor are um, like wire whatever that is that protective um, cover or like rubber around the wires that's definitely nice I think um, I also put a fan on let me flip it around I put a fan on the ESC this time thinking um it would be nice and convenient and it's very quiet and I actually do really 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 like that compared to some um, or actually one other 4x4 um, car that I have that's non Traxxas. Uh, the ESC fan's actually really loud and annoying and I hate listening to it so that's something I definitely appreciate with this um, low center gravity Traxxas slash 4x4 so yeah like I said this is a very nice setup um, I got it on eBay like I said for $220 paid after shipping so then when I got the low center gravity chassis, that was 50, what, 45, 50 bucks. So you're looking at, you know, at the most $270. So for $270, you get everything to run this car except for a battery. And um, I have uh, tons of batteries and a couple of chargers. So I'm good to go with that. So I was definitely happy to spend $270 on a practically brand new car. Um, one other thing I thought was cool to share that I thought I should share with you guys is a uh, the car that I, the guy that I bought this car from, actually said in the description he knows nothing. Nothing. He knows. I'm sorry. He knows nothing about cars and um, wouldn't even know how to sell it. And he pretty much listed it um, within like I think six hours. He had like a six or ten or something. Just certain, I don't know how it works, but a certain amount of hours of bid on eBay. And um, I, I was like the first one. Felt, there was like me and another guy who bid on this car, and I. I won them by like half a second. I mean, I bit up there, so I got it though. I I was real happy when I got it um, because I definitely did not think that getting a car like this. Yeah, I mean, I haven't even gotten a roller. Couldn't even find a roller for two hundred twenty dollars. Low center gravity, at the very least, and this electrical system's one hundred eighty dollars, brand new. So um, I know you can get it cheaper, but just just off of this is basic. You know, one hundred eighty dollars anywhere is what it lists for. So. Uh, but yeah, I definitely thought this was a steal, and I was glad to share it with you guys. Um, I guess I'll show you the body that I painted up. I have a uh, Proline Ford Raptor body. Um, I left the windows a little bit clear. You can see the paint's a little rough there on the side of the window and stuff, but I figured I'd put my favorite number up there and get some Proline stickers, and I just left the sun. I gave it a sunroof and all four windows. It's even got the rear. Let me just turn around. The rear window in the back is open, so. As you can see, it's all a bunch of windows in the back. Um, I put some stickers on there, 16 on both sides. And in the front, they gave you stickers for you to do uh, the headlights, the board grill, and then on the back, we have the taillights. So. And I had to cut out the tailgate because uh, it wouldn't fit with the way the Traxxas slash bumper is. I don't know. I probably just bought the wrong body or something. Um, but yeah. Let me grab the controller so I can show you guys the controller I got with it. This is called the TQI, um, whatever, top, you know, top qualifier, whatever the heck. Traxxas link enabled. It says right here in the back you can pretty much buy a adapter for it to screw on and you can wire, wire it says wire, wirelessly adjust your transmitter and receiver live telemetry with the Traxxas link app. So I can get a thing, I guess you screw it into the back here. That hooks up, and you can look on your phone at uh, your heat um, on the motor and the ESC and your speed and how fast you went, and you can set records and record and stuff like that, which I thought was pretty cool. I might do that. I might have a build video on that, but I'm not quite sure. But um, yeah, we'll definitely see where it takes us. So, all right. Well, this is another video by Aaron on Killer Action. Uh, please subscribe and uh, have a good day. Thank you.